Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Two Eras, and today we're going to tell you why you should not overpay for Temporal Forces release weekend video. We're going to go over the pre release prices that people were paying crazy money for cards and also what the prices are literally the weekend of. Now, keep in mind, these prices may have fluctuated since we recorded this. We're, we're only going through release weekend and pre release prices. So. Just keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and get this baby party started. And we're also going to be opening up uh, the Raging Wake uh, or Walking Wake Pokemon Center ETB. Uh, but it has a Flutter Main promo card instead. So that's going to be fun. Kind of similar to the one we did uh, earlier in Top 3 Tuesday. Let's go ahead and get this party started, ladies and gentlemen. Boom. Right off the bat, we got the Raging Bolt EX. This is a secret illustration rare on pre-release weekend. It was $55 um, on release weekend right now, $47, uh, kind of crazy. Um, not a big difference in price, but my kind of craziness about this is that these are only like, these aren't even guaranteed in a booster box. So you could probably buy two booster box or buy one booster box or buy two of these cards and get the same value. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. This this set's not very popular right now, and I feel like I just foresee these cards going down even more unless there's some kind of playability on them. All right, let's keep going. We got the Iron Leaves EX. I believe this card's going to be very playable. Um, on pre-release, it was at $89.66. Keep in mind, these are TCGplayer.com prices. Uh, they keep a kind of an estimate uh, of, you know, what they're selling for and then, you know, average it out. On release weekend, you can find it as low as $59. Um, this price is dropping and it has dropped kind of a substantial amount, $30 in, you know, just essentially a week or two. So that's one thing you guys should really consider when you're when you're making these purchases, uh, just calm down a little bit. It's going to be okay. Don't get FOMO on Pokemon. All right. You got the Iron Crown EX, and this is a beautiful card. Uh, on pre-release, it was $49, but on release, it's gone up to $53. This is like one of those weird, like, somehow it increased in price, uh, but really not that much. I'd imagine that this is probably going to have some playability to it, and that's why it, it probably has some value. Uh, psychic cards and electric cards are usually, like, some of the popular decks, and I know right now, uh, or colorless. Uh, I know to Charizard EX deck's kind of popular. Um, I'm not sure what the playability is on it, but it's popular. All right. Next card is Bianca's Devotion. Uh, the Waifu Clan definitely increasing the pricing on pre-release at $60, but uh, on release weekend, it has dropped down to $36. So these are some of the... Th I think these are the lowest in all of the Scarlet Violet era where you're going to see such low illustration rares, uh, even in the previous set. Uh, and I'm not talking about Paude and Fates. Uh, we're talking about Scarlet Violet Base. We're talking about Paude Evolved. We're talking about Obsidian, even Obsidian Flames. The Charizard was, you know, up there in value for a little while. And then uh, Paradox Rift, even the, uh, you know, was it the Raging Moon? That, that, that was over $100 for a while. We're, we're, not, we're not seeing anything over $100 right now. Uh, wild to me. We're seeing things in the $50, $60 range. Let's keep going. We got the uh, Gouging Fire EX on pre-release $47.82 today, or on release weekend, $37.90. So it's gone down in, in over ten, almost $10 already. And I, I bet you even at the time I'm recording this, it's probably going down even more. Uh, these are just the people that are mass opening packs and uh, selling stuff. So kind of interesting, kind of interesting. All right, let's keep going. We got the Morty's Conviction. I thought this would be more worth a little bit more just because Gengar is in this card and it just looks really, really cool. As a matter of fact, I'm going to move my face because I want to see this card. Like, look at this card. This is a nice card. I like it. Very, very cool. $45 on release or on pre-release. Right now, I'm down to $36. So it's, it's gone down a lot in price. Uh, we got the Eerie, the, uh, you know, from Team Star. I think the leader of Team Star, if I remember. Uh, $43 on release weekend or on pre-release on release has gone down to $28. It's, it's, it's getting cheap. I saw that the prices were kind of going down, uh, last I checked. So crazy. 
You got the Walking Wake EX. This is one of my favorite cards uh, in the set. Probably maybe one of my number one uh, most wanted cards. Uh, on pre-release, it was $48, and right now it's $37. Uh, so a pretty good, pretty good little dip. The Ghastly, which I thought the Ghastly would have some value, just kind of, you know, similar to Magikarp in Powday Evolved, similar to just a lot of the other cards, Pikachu and some of the other, you know, illustration rares over time. Uh, but right now uh, it's nine dollars, and on pre-release weekend or on pre-release, it was uh, about thirteen dollars. Iron Boulder is a secret illustration rare, thirty dollars on pre-release, and right now it's at twenty-one dollars. Um, I, I'm telling you guys, these people just don't like these Pokemon. I don't know why. All right, I believe this is going to be a utility that is very very useful. Uh, this is an A spec Prime Catcher. On pre-release, it was up to $43, but right now it's gone all the way down to $24. Now, keep in mind, A specs are about $1 in $20. Um, so this is going to be a very, very easy card to pull. And that's probably why it's uh, gone down. And it still has some good value. For a card that's $1 in, you know, one in $20 like type, um, it's, this is a good price. You got the Iron Leaves. We pulled this card twice. Uh, once in pre-release and once on release weekend. Uh, $35 was the pre-release price, and I saw it all the way down to $13, literally within, you know, less than 24 hours after we recorded the Twitch live stream. So that's crazy. Salvador, 17. This is the cheapest secret illustration rare that there is. And oh my God, if this was a secret illustration rare you got. Oh no, I like this card, but you know, based on the value, I like this card. This is a great card. This has a very, you know, this is a very Latino looking card. Um, I personally, you know, I want this card. I can get it for eight dollars right now. Uh, it was seventeen on pre-release. You got the Cincino. We got the Mincino in the previous video on pre-release, fourteen dollars. Right now, it's gone all the way down to eight bucks. You got the Master Ball uh, on pre-release. It was up to $30, and right now it's $9.22. You got the Litten, which I, I can't wait to pull this one or get it. Uh, on pre-release, it was $8, bucks and uh, today it's $4.25. It's got that little shiny variant book or picture. I don't know what that is, but it's super, super cute. I think it's a picture. And we got uh, Cypher Maniac's Code Breaking, and you guys know, I, you know this is like... Kind of hacker city here to me, so I, I'm I'm very very much into it. Pre-release 22, uh, and it's uh, 1190 right now, and this is just a regular full art card. And that is the last one that we are looking at, ladies and gentlemen. So now let's get to the main event. We got the Walking Wake EX box here. Um, this is gonna be fun. I'm very very much looking forward to opening up some more packs. We're at 44 right now. And uh, we are, we're about to increase ourselves up a little bit. Let me see. I don't know. I have the scissors right here. I was like, where did I put the scissors? Put the sleeves on top of them. All right. Let's open this. This is a Pokemon Center exclusive, by the way. Uh, in this box, there are 11 packs of cards, a promo card, two promo cards, one of them with a Pokemon Center exclusive stamp. Um, but this doesn't have Walking Wake as the promo. It's kind of weird. Um, it is uh, Fluttermane. Which, hey, I'm cool with Fluttermane. I like uh, Mischievous. You guys know that. So, I'm all down for that. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at what this all has inside of it. Or at least some of the some of the bonuses. I, I want to see what the uh, coin or the uh, dice looks like. So, let's go ahead and take a look. So, it's a little bit different green than the other one. Um, actually, it's like a blue. Like a baby blue. This looks nice. This is a very, very... I like this dice more than the other one. Um, but, you know... That's just me. We'll take a look at the sleeves and the uh, deck dividers as well. Just pull on the uh, promo and all that stuff. I do not see deck dividers. Oh, wait, I see them. They're like kind of in a weird, funky spot. Let's go ahead and take a look at these. You guys know I'm a big fan of Suicune, so this is a uh, very, very cool. Same kind of purple hollow pattern. Looks very royal to me. Very regal. Very, very nice. And the sleeves, kind of same purple kind of foil pattern uh, with the gold in the front. But uh, same 
Same thing as the other ones. These sleeves are not clear plastic. They are the variety that has the um, clouds, like the cloudy, cloudy foil thingy that nobody likes. So unfortunate, but you know, that is, it is what it is. I think Pokemon's just kind of, North American Pokemon's just kind of going with that from here on out. So not much we could do about that. Here are the two Flutter main promos. Very, very cool looking. Um, these would have been regular illustration rares in the um, in the oh, I'm sorry, Japanese set. I had a brain for it there for a second. My bad. All right, we should be ending at 55 packs once we're done with this video. So let's go ahead and uh, just get the party started. We're at 45. Hope you guys are having a good day today. Thank you for watching this video. I know it's a lot of content, and I just I want you guys to see how like a lot of people just want to buy the cards in pre-release, um, so they can start building their decks. And sometimes this is not a good idea. All right, we got a Shroomish. We've probably seen the vast majority of these cards, so we won't. You know, if there's something cool that we see, like Screamtail, we haven't seen this one yet. This is really really cute. We'll obviously stop for some of the stuff that we hadn't seen yet. Uh, we got the Wiglet in reverse. And a Coridon holographic will be the first pull of the, uh, or, I mean, that's not, not, not a pull, not a pull. The first hit, non-hit, I don't know. Pack number 46. <laughs> Let's just go to pack number 46. All right. So, yeah, like I said, um, we'll, we'll stop at cards that we haven't really seen yet, or at least we don't recognize that we've seen yet. Um, but, and we'll just kind of talk a little bit. We'll, we'll talk about... What you're looking forward to in this set, um, definitely let me know in the comments uh, what you're actually, you know, hoping to pull out of this. This is an Iron Valiant. I really do like the uh, reverse hollows on on the future and ancient Pokemon. They look really, really cool. We got Charger Bug. And there we go. We got an Iron Crown EX. And I believe this is the most expensive regular EX card. As a matter of fact, uh, we'll go ahead and use our friends at uh, pkmn.gg. Uh, definitely look into them. They are not a sponsor. But uh, I highly, highly recommend them. Um, they got they got a really cool tool that you can utilize that we're about to utilize right now to see what the value of this card is. And this card is worth $8.21 right now, according to tcgplayer.com. That is the market price. This is going to be a very, very playable card. Uh, first time we got to pull this card so far. So uh, we'll definitely take that. Uh, even though it's not a considered a full hit, that is definitely a hit in my books. Um, any card is worth more than a regular illustration rare is pretty, pretty good. All right. Let's keep going. That was pack number, was that pack number 46? Or was that pack number 47? Oh, no. We said we're going to end at 55. So I don't know if that was 46 or 47. But uh, we're going to click the next one. And <laughs> let's hope we uh, we did that right. Your boy out here. Uh... All right. Let's keep going. We got the uh, Scyther. I like Scyther. It's a good, it's a good card. I think there, there is an illustration rare site there somewhere uh, in, in this generation. We got another Iron Valiant there. That was interesting. And there we go. Look at that. We got an Arbok. This is actually really cool. I don't know how I missed this one. There's a Tucanon in there, and that looks really, really cool. It looks like, you know, deep in the wilderness. Like, you're, this is a really nice illustration rare. Very, very nice. And a Dun Dun Spar. So this was, a, this was a solid, solid, solid uh, pack there. We got a... We got a hit there in pack number 47, potentially 47 or 48, depending on if I actually clicked a button or not. All right. <laughs> Let's keep going. That's a, that's a dope card. Very, very happy about that one. Uh, another illustration right down, so that's also always good. Ooh, we haven't seen this Haunter yet. I like this Haunter. I'm definitely... This is a very Haunter-esque. Um, if you guys watch the anime. I guess Haunter and Gengar and... Uh, Ghastly must be in the same room because I saw that Ghastly again. Got that Deerling, Heatmore, and Iron Thorns, Hollow. We'll put that in the Hollow pile because uh, you know I don't know how many Hollows we need. I feel like we probably have already pulled all the Hollows uh, after forty nine packs that we've uh, you know gone through, but we'll see. It's a potential possibility that we have. All right. What do you guys think about the size of this set? I know there's like a little bit less illustration rare and secret illustration rare than some of the other sets. And what do you guys think about these pull rates? Um, they did the TCG player um, kind of, you know, what do you
what do you want to call it? They opened a, like thousands of packs and uh, kind of were able to estimate what the uh, pull rates were. And we we pulled that Royal Moon before, and they uh, you know pull rates are this is the worst pull rates in Scarlet Violet right now. Um, hyper rares, so gold cards are one in one hundred thirty nine packs, and any SIR are one in eighty six. I and IRs are one in thirteen. It's about normal. That's what it's been. But uh, I, I'm surprised about the SIRs being so you know weak. I'm hoping that maybe they uh, rechange that up on the next set that they come out with. Cause, man, that's that's rough. I, I wish that uh, you know I got real used to the new Scarlet Violet you know pull rates. They're a lot better. Meditite, Crocodile, Anime Cargo. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments what you guys are, how you guys are feeling about these uh, kind of weird, funky pull rates. Like I said, I'm not really feeling it. I think they should be easier to pull. Especially on a set like this, where I think this can, this set's going to struggle a little bit. Um, just in general. Because people don't really like these ancient Pokemon for some reason. I like them, but some people don't. We got a Rapidash. A Bramblin. I like Bramblin. It's a cool Pokemon. A Mudstow. And a Maridon. Holographic. Yeah, I personally am down with these. I like I like the legendary Pokemon that they're uh, featuring in these. I know that they're supposed to be ancient and future Pokemon. And I go, oh, you know. But it's okay. It's going to be all right. We don't have to gatekeep every single thing. I, I like the... Uh, I like it. I like it. Mr. Energy... Colossal, and another, hey, this is one of our most wanted, the Drampa. This is the uh, never-ending story, Drampa. This is so cool. Look at that card, ladies and gentlemen. We got two SI, or we got two regular AI IRs in this uh, set, or in this box. That is uh, always a win in a crocodile there. That's a good, that's, that's nice. We'll take that. We will 100% take that. That was pack number 52, I think, right? That was pack number fifty-two. I did have it right. I, I've been I've been right on the dot the whole time. We're at pack number fifty-three now. So uh, two S, uh, two regular IRs. That's a oh my god. All right, we, we we're just gonna go through that one. <laughs> we we kind of accidentally done that one, so uh, we might as well use the code card on that. We might as well just miss that. You know, we we already missed it up, so we might as well just go through it. All right, pack number fifty-three was a bust. Pack number 54, hopefully isn't. How's that? I'm going to tell you guys, no SIR so far, and we're at 54 packs in. Uh, but, you know, the odds are getting closer to us. They are getting closer to us. I'll say that. Future Energy Booster, Iron Hands, Heavy Baton. I don't want to be beat by that. Screamtail, this is a nice. I really like the Screamtail a lot. I really do. I love that they change the holo pattern too. Like, so the reverse holos for a regular card looks like this, and the reverse holo for a, an ancient or future kind of has this really cool looking, like you know, pattern. We got a size or ex. I don't. Did we get a size or ex yet? I don't remember. Nice, nice pull. Nice pull. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. You know, we didn't take a look at the prices for Arbuck and uh, Drampa, so we'll do that after the uh, you know after this last pack here. So last pack. Can we get some last pack magic out of these ETBs? So, you know, that'd be nice. Pack number 55 here. We got the I Like Turtles. That's a good news. That's some good news. We got the Turtwig. We got the Puccina, the Puccina Matata right there. We got, oh, we got Wiglet. All right, all right. It's getting good. Mountain, that's like the Pokemon Go reference, right? We got the Great Tusk. You guys played the game and remember that area where you had to battle the Great Tusk in. Del Caddy, there's a cat. The Explorer's Guide. All right, we got a Sizzlepeed. Uh, Grodel. And a Bramblegast. Oh, all right, that's okay. That's okay. I'm, I'm going to take it. Um, let's take a look at these values real quick on these uh, two illustration rares that we got uh, from Pokemon, or PKMN.GG. We'll take a look at those real quick. And uh, you know what? So far, we've only pulled one Ace spec. I'm just realizing that we've only pulled one ace back out of the uh, entire set. That's kind of wild to me. All right. So first, we'll take a look at the Arbok, and we'll grab the Arbok so we can put it in a sleeve right now. And so this Arbok is at the current state, $4.61. Pretty nice. I like the Arbok. This is a great card. 
Very, very cool. And then the Drampa. And Drampa's not really that popular of a Pokemon, which I don't know why, but I, I feel like this card is too cool to not, like, you know, to not want this card. You know what I mean? Like, how could you not want, like, how could you say, nah, bro, I don't want this card? Four dollars twenty-two cents, four twenty almost. Uh, this is a dope card. I am happy that we pulled it. We did pretty good. We did pretty good. So out of the eleven packs, we pulled two illustration rares. These are one in thirteen. So this is a good. Uh, and then two regular EXs, and then obviously the promos. Pokemon Center promo is is always gonna have like some kind of value to it, um, with the stamp. I. We should. We could take a look on TCG Player to see what it's uh, worth right now. I don't think we can see that here, but I'm gonna double check it. Yeah, I don't, I don't see the option for these promo cards just yet. So usually, though, the PokemonCenter.com ones kind of go for like twenty bucks or more, especially in the instance of a uh, Pokemon One Hundred Fifty One. Uh, those, those are much more valuable than I think they should be, but you know. That's just me speaking. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this video. If you could, do me the biggest favor. Uh, leave a thumbs up on the video. Comment, obviously. Let me know how your pulls are going and anything else I mentioned in this, just this video. Um, and if you could, do me a big favor. Tell somebody something nice. It could be the only nice thing that they hear all day, all month, all week. Mental health awareness. Important. It's always nice to be nice to somebody. Um, you know, that's how I say it. Uh, also, if you want to click on one of the two videos and let's write. I love you guys. I'll see you guys uh, on the next one. Have a beautiful, fantastic rest of your day. Love you. Bye-bye.